Before we talk about this big announcement, you gotta know what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, at CERN is like a huge 17-mile ring of magnets. It's the biggest, most powerful one we got. It's a major scientific achievement. It's so strong it can copy how things were when the universe started. But, could this machine, built to figure out the universe, actually open up something bad? CERN started back in 1954. It's a super famous research place with tons of countries involved and lots of smart people working there. It's where people come together to invent stuff. The LHC is their main thing, but they have other accelerators and experiments too. Think of it like a racetrack, but for tiny particles. They race against time and space. The LHC makes protons go super fast and crash into each other. This makes energy like the Big Bang. The crashes get super hot, like hotter than the sun. Magnets keep the protons on track, and crazy cooling systems keep everything colder than space. The proton beams crash at four spots where there are detectors, Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. They all look at different things in particle physics. They're like giant cameras that take pictures of the crashes. Scientists dig through the stuff that's left to try and find the Higgs boson, the God particle, and other stuff that tells us how the universe works. When we study tiny things, we learn about big things. Every answer leads to a new question, and every find brings a new challenge. The LHC isn't just science stuff, it shows how curious and creative we are. We really want to know everything and understand the forces that made the universe. But, as we learn more, we have to think about the ethics of it all. What if there are dangers in finding out too much? Could we accidentally mess with forces we can't control? At CERN, where they're always pushing the limits, something shocking happened that scared even the scientists. Brian Cox, who used to work at CERN and is a big name in particle physics, made an announcement that freaked everyone out and got them really interested. Cox said that the point of the LHC is to make a mini Big Bang. Yes, a tiny version of what made the universe. He talked about what that means, and how the LHC could make new discoveries, like finding the Higgs boson and checking out dark matter. Imagine having the power to create things, to make the universe. Sounds cool, but it's risky. The mini Big Bang isn't just something to think about, it's happening in the LHC. The heat... Pressure and energy are like when the universe was born. It's like seeing the beginning of time. But with that kind of power, we have to be careful. What if things go wrong? Actually, something did go wrong in 1978. A Russian scientist named Anatoly Bugorsky had a bad accident while working on a particle accelerator in Russia. There was a problem, and his head got right in the path of a proton beam. The beam went right through his head. Bugorsky said he saw a flash brighter than anything, but didn't feel pain. The beam burned through his head, but he stayed awake and walked to the clinic. What happened after was both awful and interesting. The beam killed some tissue, so he lost hearing in one ear and couldn't move part of his face. But he was still smart and kept working as a scientist. This isn't just a sad story. It shows how powerful and dangerous these accelerators can be. We need to take the risk seriously. There could be unexpected things happening, and we could be messing with space and time. This isn't sci-fi. Some scientists are really worried about it. One of the scariest things about the LHC is that it might make a tiny black hole. Black holes are parts of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can get away, not even light. They suck up stars and are super mysterious. The idea that the LHC could make one, even a small one, is scary. Could it grow and swallow the Earth? CERN says that any black hole would disappear really fast. But just the thought of it has caused worry and excitement. It's important to know how the LHC could even make a black hole. When protons crash together at almost the speed of light, the energy is so strong that it bends space and time. Think of a trampoline, and then you drop something heavy on it. It bends. If it's heavy enough, it could make a hole so deep that everything nearby gets sucked in. That's kind of what could happen in the LHC. 
In quantum physics, where things are weird, there's a theory that there might be extra dimensions hidden in our world. If those dimensions are real, the LHC's crashes could reach them, making a gravity hole that forms a tiny black hole. Even Stephen Hawking was worried about this. He said that the Higgs boson could get unstable at really high energies. This could cause a vacuum decay, which would destroy the Earth and the whole universe. Sir Martin Rees, another famous scientist, also said he was worried about the experiments at CERN. He said that a bad experiment could cause this vacuum instability, which could destroy everything. Rees said there was a small chance of this happening, but even a small chance is too much risk. The stakes are super high, and we can't mess up. The scientists at CERN have done all the math and simulations to try and prove that the LHC is safe. Brian Cox even said that it's important to be careful. He knows that people are scared about the LHC. He said that they have lots of safety measures and protocols to make sure everything is done right. Cox said that the energy levels are normal and that the chances of making a stable black hole are super low. Even if they made one, scientists say it would be tiny and disappear in a flash, thanks to something Hawking predicted called Hawking radiation. It would be a quick look into the unknown, and then it would be gone. Some people think that the LHC could open a portal to another universe or dimension. Most scientists don't think so, but it's captured people's imaginations and become a popular idea. What if there's something beyond our world? Could we accidentally let loose things we don't understand? The idea of opening a portal to somewhere bad has even been in movies and TV shows, making people even more worried. The idea of parallel dimensions isn't new. String theory says that there might be more dimensions than we know about. These dimensions could be hidden, but we could reach them under the right conditions. The LHC could be like a key that opens doors that have been closed since the beginning of time. When protons crash at crazy high energies, they could reach these hidden places. There are risks and rewards to this, like with any science experiment. So, the CERN LHC is a sign of how smart and ambitious people are when it comes to learning. It's how we figure out the biggest mysteries of the universe. But it also reminds us that there are risks in exploring the unknown. Every time we find something new, we get closer to a wild universe where science, ethics, and what it means to be alive all get mixed up. The question is, are we ready for the power we're messing with?